my name is Lourdes Montoya. I will be going over chapter four of um, integrating technology in the classrooms. It is written by Boney Hamilton. This is the second edition. Uh, chapter four is the realities of technology in schools and districts. This chapter goes over types of devices that are used, how they're used, their affordances, or um, to make it more understandable, characteristics. The challenge of change, um, technology in schools, and assumptions about technology skills. So to get started, types of devices that are used and how they're used. We have the iPads, composition or computer labs, Chromebooks, and even personal devices. iPads, um, they're used mainly for their picture quality. So students can use them to read a textbook or to watch videos. Um, I know the chapter did mention that teachers experiences with iPads are more of like a fun tool They're like for gaming. Um, with my own experience I, I did tend to draw on the iPads. Uh, Chromebooks are used for like reading, uh, participating in class, writing essays, uh, those are more going to be a stationary type of technology because you can't really go around moving around with it. It is going to be a Wi-Fi only technology. So if the Wi-Fi goes down or if the Wi-Fi isn't strong, you're probably going to want to use something else just because um, if the Wi-Fi is moving slowly, your lecture is going to go slowly and students are going to have a hard time like staying on task and keeping up with that. Um, computer labs, those are for like the entire class. Um, computer labs were mainly used for writing essays or taking a test, like state tests, ACTs, SATs. Those are more for the computer labs. Um, the affordances of each device varies. Um, so like I said, these are going to be basically characteristics. So your personal device it fits in your pocket. You can take it everywhere you go. You don't necessarily need Wi-Fi for it. That doesn't count for all the students of the classroom. Every student is different. Um, iPads, they're very lightweight. They aren't the most strong. So if you drop it, it's probably going to get cracked. So those I would definitely recommend it being a stationary one-on-one um, -on -one student use. Uh, Chromebooks also, they could be used in a group. It would be a bit difficult for that, but those can also be used one-on-one. -on -one. Those would also be pretty stationary um, just because you don't want your students walking around with Chromebooks. Uh, computer labs. Um, of course, the computer is already going to be on the desktop for you. Uh, you're going to want to go over with students that you want them to save their files on their um, Google Drive, not on the computer, because if they save it on that computer specifically, they won't be able to access it later unless they're on that computer again. Uh, so this follows through with uh, assumptions about technology skills. Um, you always want to go over the technology with your students. You want to go over the browsers and like how to block ads and say no to cookies um, or say no to notifications and push notifications because some students will click yes just click yes you're also going to want to show them the type of browsers that they're going to use um, it's often assumed that students know how to use certain items but from this chapter it goes over how a lot of time for elementary schoolers in school is the only time they get hands-on with technology. So just always going over the rules and how to use the technology properly with students is very, very important. And that's basically the summary of this chapter. Thank you.